Like, no, let's bring back shaming. Hey guys, it's your girl Cameron and I'm back at it again with another video. And today I have a commentary for you guys. We are going to be talking about the problem with PJs. Why are people so outraged recently about private jets, specifically with celebrity jet usage? Recently, if you're on social media, you probably heard of this, but Kylie Jenner posted a picture with Travis Scott, posted in front of their two private jets, and she said something along the lines of, should we take mine or yours? Like a very subtle, but not very subtle Instagram flex. And this is the perfect textbook definition of when flexing goes wrong. A lot of people were hyping it up, but half of us with the brain were like, mm, mm, not the time. Raging pandemic, COVID still happening. We're on the verge of monkeypox. And we had a recent heat wave during around the time that photo was taken and climate change. So to be fair, a lot of people were just like, mm, we don't care. And we don't like this. Try to clean that up. So what opened up this whole discourse about private jets Celebrity using it, is it moral and its issue with climate change? So today I wanted to put a little bit of research, commentary, social commentary, mix it together to give you guys a pretty clear stance for any of you guys who are a little on the fence about the issue or if you kind of just felt like it's not a problem. Well, I'm here to tell you, I think that it is. Like, comment down below. What do you guys think? Where do you stand on this pressing issue? And please hit that subscribe button if you would like to see more commentary like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. And without further ado, let's just get straight into the commentary. Let's go. The very first thing that I think we just need to get out there is why are PJs bad? You know, a lot of people don't really know or they just say it because everyone else say, says it. In the height of climate change, our clock is running out. Like the earth is heating and I don't know how much time we have left, but this is definitely a contributing factor. And it's not as much because private jet usage is gonna be our demise. That's not what it is. But it's the fact that there have been efforts for normal people like us to use plastic straws, to reuse our bags, that's all great, love that. To reduce our clothing consumption, that's lovely. But corporations and celebrities get away with causing so much harm without regulation or without any consequence. And we know why this is true because economically they're beneficial, the money that their industries make, the money that they put into the economy is useful. So of course we care more about money than we care about our planet, like, okay. Previously, the conversation around jets was mostly about how ridiculously priced they were. But over recent years, there has been more serious discussion about its climate impact. Most of the arguments either lie on the side of private jets are horrible, they're bad, they suck, and the environmental impact is not worth it. And then on the very opposite end is there's people who support it for their economic impact, as well as people being able to be bougie and rich. So we're gonna talk about carbon emissions. I wanna base this off of Kylie Jenner's $70 million jet, the Bombardier Global 7500. Now, before you guys say I'm a stalker, this information is on the internet and there's a website that literally breaks down this jet. If you wanna buy it, I don't have $70 million in my bank account, so I can't afford it, but this information is on the internet. This is actually the world's largest longest range business jet and it has four living spaces a kitchen a master suite with a full size bed and it actually seats up to 19 passengers so talking about carbon emissions i thought we could use an example of kylie's jet since she is the one who is getting the most heat lately these are very large jets and they considerably produce anywhere from four to eight tons of carbon emissions per hour and the total carbon emissions per passenger for this jet is about 0.33 tons to 0.42 tons. All you need to know is like, scientists say that it's most important to look at the overall jet, not as much as the passengers riding, but what are the emissions of the jet itself? And uh, it's a lot. It's a hell of a lot to only be transporting 
no more than 19 people. And half the time, this isn't even carrying that amount of people. Also, we have to remember, keep this in the back of your head, that a lot of private jets fly around empty to travel from different ports and destinations to park the jet. So keep that in the back of your mind. Now, why private jets are so bad? They pollute 10 times more than commercial aircrafts and 50 more times than trains. So for something that does not get people or a lot of people around, it's kind of an unnecessary evil. Like there's really no reason why these people need to be taking jets like this. Global aviation counts for over 2% of annual carbon emissions. Business jets contribute to about 0.04%. Now you're probably looking at me like, that's not a lot, which really it's not. It really is not in the grand scheme of things, but every bit counts. On that other hand, the problem is that just 1% of the people cause 50% of this global aviation. And we'll get into the figures. A commercial jet can fit about 300 people, right? So the problem with this is that there's it's disproportionate because that's a lot of 50% of that is being taken up by 1% of people. That's pretty bad. Let's talk about the excessive need to fly private. Well, back to the figures before. More rich people are riding private jets, paying for private jets, buying them, especially due to COVID. I mean, planes are like nasty. I'm not even gonna lie. Like I had to fly recently and it freaked me out that no one was wearing a mask. People cough, there's not really great ventilation. It, it It's a mess, right? So of course, rich people are gonna be getting and flying more jets. Now, technically speaking, private jets aren't the single-handedly worst thing for the environment. But some even might say as a rebuttal, well, why don't we stop using cars? Why don't we stop um, flying on commercial planes? If everything is bad, why do we do it? Well, I do have an argument. In a country that doesn't really have sustainable or logical infrastructure that is widely accessible to support mass public transportation, and I'm not just talking about getting to and from work, that's already a problem, right? Like buses and, and public transportation. We don't have sustainable, like people, if you're trying to go from New York to California, you really either only have the option to drive, to use a lot of gas or to fly a plane. There's not really efficient ways to travel. And that's something that we need, the country needs to work on. But more people have to travel by car or bus or whatever to get to work, to live, to make a living. And obviously a rich person taking a jet for leisure is not a necessary evil. Like it's, it's really not, especially when only a few people, five, six, seven, eight people are going on a jet. I like to compare like, for instance, a bus to a commercial flight. A bus may still not be great for the environment, but it's a solution that carries more people at once, similar to a commercial flight. A commercial flight, a plane is not the best thing for the environment, right? But compared to a private jet, it carries on average about 300 people. So it's a lot more efficient. You're moving a lot more people around and it's not as much of a waste. According to the transportenvironment.org, private jets are five to 14 times more polluting than commercial planes. So for something, I don't know, I'm gonna keep saying it, for something that really does not carry that many people, it does a lot more damage. I hope this makes sense. For celebrities who take petty flights, and by petty flights, I mean flights that are under an hour to three hours even to me, especially for vacation is very absurd. Like there's, there's really no need to defend it as a normal person. And I've seen a lot of people cape for celebrities, but why? You still gotta sit on a dusty plane. I digress. So private jets are twice as likely to actually be used for shorter trips within Europe. This is a study that was done in Europe and it's compared to commercial aviation. So people with private jets are actually more likely taking shorter flights than they're taking longer. Now, because I'm fair, and I study journalism, I think it's only fair to play devil's advocate and to give another argument. So celebs might argue that their privacy concerns on a commercial flight. So not only would there be raging fans probably on the jet and you know, people being like, oh my gosh, that's Kylie, let's drink, oh, let's whatever. A lot of these people also travel with entourages, security, crews, the whole nine makeup artists, all of that. So to an extent, I can understand the appeal of having a jet. 
And I'd be lying to you guys if I said like, when I'm on a plane and commercial, that I'm not like, damn, I wish I wasn't, I wish I was on a pri private jet right now. Like, I feel like everybody's thought that before, but we all know it's like not realistic. So you just deal with it. Now, I kind of understand the longer flights. Like if you're going around the country or you're from California, you're going to Europe, right? But if it's a place that might only inconvenience you an hour or so to drive, when you have a personal driver. Now, we all do contribute to our planet dying. So it's not completely on celebrities. And I do think that that also is a way for us to kind of point the blame or point the finger. Like there's things that we could all do to contribute to making our planet a better place. But like I said, rich, rich people do it unnecessarily. Like you don't have to ride a private jet to get to and from when you have like 10 cars, when you have like three drivers, you have a maid, you have people to take care of things for you. You don't have to do that. The next question is, is it only bad when Kylie does it? I saw a lot of people asking this question who were defending her. They're like, why do you guys just get mad when she does it? So many people actually came to her defense with the sentiment that people were just pocket watching Kylie and you're jealous and you're mad that you can't afford a jet, which is a very dense take by the way. But most of us with a brain felt that the use, the excessive use was a problem. Now, the only other thing I can say to be fair is that whenever a Kardashian or Jenner does do something, it's people don't like them. People do not like them. So people will amplify an issue times 10 if it's a Kardashian or Jenner to basically say, hey, I got you. I caught you. Here you are. There's another reason why you guys are shitty people. So there is, I you I would be dumb or in denial to say that people aren't inflating the issue because it's a Kardashian. But as we go on, other celebrities are currently under fire for private jet usage. And I do think to be fair, the whole you guys only mad at Kylie was a fair argument, I feel like a few weeks ago. But since the Kylie incident, People are not very happy about a lot of other celebrities and they're a lot or they're starting to catch heat. Recently, Taylor Swift has been listed as the biggest culprit for carbon emissions, private jets flying as a celebrity. And people love Taylor Swift. So people are not happy about that. Drake is also a person who was under fire and arguably he should be under more fire. Kylie Jenner technically by numbers does not contribute the most to carbon emissions. And now there's an account on Twitter called Celeb Jets and it's actually created by a 19 year old programmer named Jack Sweeney. And in efforts to kind of make a stance, climate change, the use of private jets, it actually found that Drake's private jet, Air Drake, took an 18 minute flight from Hamilton, Ontario to Toronto. Now the quote, according to The Guardian, Drake's recent flights have resulted in five tons of CO2 emissions being emitted. This marks the highest amount released by a celebrity private jet. This number is actually higher than the average annual global emissions of one person. Now, apparently Drake's not number one anymore. I think Taylor Swift took the spot. But to be fair, I do think he probably should have got more heat in for this. I didn't learn about this until I was doing research for this video. That's insane. To defend himself, Drake actually did say, this is just them moving planes to whatever airport they're being stored at for anyone who's interested in the logistics. He said, nobody takes that flight. And that brings us back to the point that a lot of us don't also understand that these flights do fly empty quite often. So that's why you might be seeing three minute flights that Kylie takes or a few minute, five or 10 minutes. And actually Jack Sweeney, the creator, did actually make this disclaimer. A lot of these short flights might also just be the plane moving, but that's not a great excuse. That's still not a great answer, but it is something that you have to be aware of. This kid also has other accounts that track the flights of US president's planes, um, Air Force One, and somebody like Elon Musk. Landed in San Francisco, California. Approximate flight time was nine minutes. The inventor of Tesla is unnecessarily using jets when you created a self-driving car. Make it make sense. But this page be exposing people. And if it weren't for this page, I genuinely don't think people would really know the damage. So this kid is like doing a service. Elon Musk 
tried to use his checkbook to shut down this account. Musk's offer was apparently only $5,000 to this kid. I am going to create an environment that is so toxic. I wouldn't take that money either. The fuck? So the fact, you guys know that some of these people know the impact and they feel guilty enough. But I guess Elon Musk doesn't care because he's too busy trying to figure out a way to go to space so that when the planet goes to shit, they can take rockets or whatever the hell they're building. So the problem with this is that normal people have to go through the efforts of going green. It's advertised and marketed towards us. Like our plastic straw usage is such a problem. We're the issue. But a lot of, like I said before, it's caused by large corporations and rich people who flaunt their wealth with no shame. And many of us get frustrated with that. That is so fair. Like when we have to make all of these little efforts, but there's really the people who could cut and shut and like make such a change, don't do it because they don't have to because there's no regulation, there's no anything. That's where people get upset. Now, do I think that it's completely fair to just get on celebrities? There's a lot of other people who fly jets that we don't know about, but they're the face. And I really hope that this makes them think twice. Obviously people like Kim, the Kardashians anyways, Drake, Taylor Swift. I think they said Mark Wahlberg, Elon Musk. It's these short flights that really think has people like pushed over the edge. Like they're, I can't do it. To sum up this video and to kind of leave it on a light note, what is the solution? We can complain, we can complain. And as normal people, there's really nothing we can do about this. But according to some of my research, a few people proposed by 2030, they should only permit the use of hydrogen or electric aircrafts because I guess right now they're using fuel and jets so you guys know how we're making the effort to like move to electric cars etc that's something that is being looked into for planes because fun fact since planes have been or private jets have been a thing like since about 1967 when people started to really use them they burned around 579 gallons of fuel per hour but jets actually haven't gotten that more much more efficient fuel efficient since its start a more effective green way to fly jets and maybe we could do this with commercial planes as well like that's not out of the question also people are saying while we're waiting for that to happen a ticket and fuel tax should be imposed and then fourth while all of this is being done because you know the government's not going to do anything about it can people just reduce their private jet usage you want to flex and flaunt your little private jets that are contributing unnecessarily like no let's bring back shaming i'm getting a little radical but they should be afraid to post stuff like that because you know people are going to be like eh, we don't want to see it if you're not helping the situation we don't want to see your negative contribution so guys that was my take on the issue i actually did the research and i wanted to sit down and look at figures and look at the numbers because i didn't have that so do i think that there's people who are unfairly criticizing without knowing what it really is 100%. And I do think people need to do their research before pointing fingers, but it's a known fact that it's just not good for the environment. Thank you guys for watching. Comment down below now that you have this evidence. Are you one of those people who kind of change your mind? Hit that subscribe button down below. And I really thank you guys so much for watching this video. Check out some of these videos I posted on the screen right after this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.